Good morning, Kids Church Kids. We are on week three of our virtual road trip to learn more about God's Ten Commandments. So let's see if we can remember what we have learned so far in the past two weeks. We've talked about four commandments. We talked about put God first, no idols or worship God only, respect God's name, and worship and rest on God's day. So next up, we're gonna talk about commandments five, six, and seven. And each one of these commandments is especially about loving people, or we could think about loving our family. All right, so we're gonna read from the Bible again. We're gonna read Exodus 20, verses 12 through 14. Honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not murder and you shall not commit adultery. So we can show love to our parents and other grown-ups who take care of us by listening to their advice and treating them with love and kindness. They want to do what's best for us, so obeying them would be a really wise thing to do. We can also show love to our siblings and other family members by not filling ourselves with negative emotions towards them. It's understandable to get frustrated sometimes and maybe even to get annoyed, and it's okay to feel hurt, but God doesn't want us to stay like that because that's more harmful to us. We can ask God show, to show us how to love them just like God does and to make things right with people who upset us. We can also show love to people who we make commitments to, like when people get married and keep the promises that we make to them. So our families aren't perfect, but God loves each of our family members anyway, and we can do the same. So that is our big idea for today. We obey God by loving our families. It's not always easy, but it's what God wants us to do. All right, let's check in with Carl and see how his road trip is going. Oh, hey there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow Ow! TV. Welcome to Grow. Hosted by Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hey there, everyone. Well, I've got some bad news. Today I got hurt. I got hurt real bad. And the worst part is, it was done by my own brother. Can you believe it? We got into a little argument and then BAM! He slapped me. I wish I could say this is the first time my brothers has caused me any type of pain. So yeah, it's happened a few times. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm angry about it. And as far as I can see, I only have two options. One, I could spend thousands of dollars on multiple classes teaching me the art of self-defense. That way I can show my dominance over my brother and anyone else who may pose a threat to my safety and hurt them the way they hurt me. Or option number two, turn the other cheek. I forgive my brother because at the end of the day, he is my brother and I shall love him. So, I will choose to fight him. First, I would like to demonstrate my strength. Next, I will demonstrate my flexibility. Ah. Next, I will demonstrate my focus. Huh, ice cream? Finally, I will demonstrate my strength of my willpower. In this bag, I have placed a box of Twinkies. They are my favorite treat, and it's almost impossible for me not to eat them. But no matter how long, I must sit here and not eat them. Oh, I already ate them. <laughs> DJ! Carl! What's up, man? Not a lot's happening, except now I've dedicated the rest of my life to destroying my brother and training my body to be a lethal weapon and a danger to anyone who comes in contact with. So, the normal. Okay, so do you want to talk about it? No way, TJ. You're not going to do this again, okay? Do what? Come in here, make a few jokes, lighten the tension, then talk some sense into me while sharing a very fitting yet topical Bible story that correlates to the situation I'm currently in and once again leads me to saying the big idea, therefore bringing us full circle and completing this week's video in a very timely and wholesome fashion. 
all right, all right, you got me. Because that's exactly what I was going to do. Now that's what I thought. So if you don't mind, I'm going to be practicing my slap. You know, Carl, I think we should talk about the Ten Commandments. The rules God gave us? I don't know, TJ. I think the next thing I'm going to do after I break the steering wheel in half is break some rules. Mama. Ooh. Did that hurt? Psh, no. <laughs> okay, yeah, it did. All right, all right. Well, let's take a break from well, whatever you're doing, and let's talk about something that's pretty important. All right, so what commandments? Well, open up your Bible to Exodus 20. Now, which ones have we talked about so far? One through four. Put God first, worship only God, respect God's name, and rest on God's day. You're absolutely right, man. So today, let's talk about the 5th, 6th, and 7th commandment. All right. What about them? Well, let's look at them. Honor your father and mother. Do not murder. And do not commit adultery. I think I got those covered. So that means I win, right? No, no winning today. But all of those have to do with what? Not lying, corn, maybe water balloons. I don't know. I'm lost. Honoring and loving people. All three of those commandments come down to one thing, love. Okay, but doesn't it count if instead of a hug with both my arms, I hug my brother with my open hand on his face? <laughs> no, that doesn't count as love. But what if I love doing it? <laughs> That's not the same. You see, when God gave Moses those commandments, they were meant to be taken very seriously. And God gives us those commandments and others because God loves us. And we should take that love and show that same love to other people. Even my brother? Especially your brother, man. Fine, I'll do it. But just because you said so. No, don't do that. What? First you tell me to love my family, then not to? Come on, man. No, definitely love and honor your family. But don't do it because I said so. Do it because that's what God expects of us. And also, because God loved us first. You know what? That's a good point. I know it's going to be hard. But Carl, I think you can do it. I hope so. I guess I should be thanking you for reminding me that we obey God by loving our families. Hey, Carl. What's up, TJ? I think you just... Did I just say the big idea? I think you did, buddy. <sighs> I knew this was going to happen. big idea is we obey God by loving our family. That's right. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. We, we obey, obey God, God by, by loving, loving our, our family. family. Yes, yes, yes. Congratulations. You did it. Good job. So Carl, how are you feeling now? Well, my face is still sore, but I feel a lot better. What? What is it? It's... It's my brother. Oh no, did he say something mean? No. He said sorry. And he told me that he thinks my sweaters are pretty cool. That's cool, man. That is so nice. He didn't have to say that. I am so happy now. Oh, okay. All right, man. All right. Let it out. Let it out. <laughs> you gonna be okay? Oh. <laughs> that is so sweet. <laughs> okay, kids. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs> there, there, Carl. There, there. Okay. All right. Wipe your, wipe your face, Carl. Wipe your face. <laughs> Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV. So today we talked about how we obey God by loving our families. God wants us to show them love and respect, to be kind and to keep our promises. So think about someone in your family who you love and think about why do you love them? Why don't you take a few minutes to make a postcard for them to express why you're glad that you get to be a part of their family and how much you love them. After that, why don't you practice our memory verse for the month? It's Luke 10, 27, and I'll link where you can pull up the American Sign Language that can go along with the verse. Okay, friends, thanks for joining me. Let's take a minute to close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for each person in our family. 
Loving our families isn't always easy, but help us to love each person with our words and with our actions. May we remember that we obey you when we do that. Amen. Okay, friends, have a great week. I will see you next time. Bye.